morning all. Today we're just south of Dalhoney at Down the Spiddle. Um, I'm planning on heading up a couple of Corbett's today. Over here, so a cast there, climbing up over there to the the south of Athol, which is just behind that hill in the foreground. We've got to climb up there, and then I'll come back down, back down this track, and then that dark looking hill across there. Get to head up there and bag the next Corbett Mion Electric, I believe it's called. It's um. Oh, maybe minus two, minus three this morning. So it's quite a chilly one, no wind, and it's going to be an absolutely lovely day. So that's us. We're now on the way up the hill called the South Apple. I'm just looking back there to down the spindle and across there. I'm not sure if that's on the Cairn Leaf of Ben Aglow or is it Ben Vraki over there at the distance. And we'll just come up this piece of ground here. There's no path up the hill and it's very wet underfoot, very boggy. But we're making progress. And we are heading up, up there. So once I get onto the slopes of that hill, it should be a bit, should be a bit drier and a bit easier going. But yeah, beautiful day, hardly a wisp of wind in the air. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, we'll crack on. So a bit further up the hill now, I think I've passed or to the, the boggy bit down there. I'm actually starting to heat up as soon as I start climbing. So I might have to take a layer off, starting to sweat a little. So here we go around here and I've just, I made a beeline for these grease butts because I've got my track there so it might just help progress going up the hill. And yeah, nice. Nice grouse, but nice shelter. They've made it well, actually. Be good. It would be good just to huddle in here on a cold day out the wind. Let's go. Let's go and have a look. There we go. Have a seat. There. Well, here we are, my first hill of the day, a Corbett named the Sow of Apple. So, yeah, a moderate sized summit here. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm absolutely roasting now. Let's put the poles out. There. Uh, what a day. Views. Sun's out. Still is anything, not a soul in sight. So I've just came down a little from the summit of the hill and I'm just looking northwards down onto the A9. Right. Yeah, I think the hills will be busy today. I saw the forecast. But not this one yet. Just myself. Certainly worth the early morning. So we've now came down from the south of Athol. So I came down from that hill across there, all the way down there, and I'm now heading up the next hill, Mio Nalitri, or something like 
that. Um, so we're just on the steep part at the moment. Luckily we found a rough old Land Rover Stalker's track. It's going up here, which is helping me make some good progress. Heading up here and hopefully once we get up on the, on the ridge line you would say we'll get some sunshine, sunshine again because it's been very contrasting from being up there in the sun coming back down down to the glen in the frost hard frost quite a temperature difference well that's the worst of climbing down now thank goodness so we're just heading along here and it's a it's a fine easy walk along to the top which is behind which I believe is behind that that top across there. Sounds fairly shining. Now, I've actually met quite a few people. Well, when it's coming down the south of, south of Apple across here, I've actually met a few groups of people. <laughs> and then just five minutes ago, I met this gentleman coming down. He said, Oh, I came from Grand Town. And I looked at him and I thought, Oh, I recognise you. Oh, yes. Uh, I met a fellow TGO challenger, Mike Barras from Grand Town. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, lovely views across the Cairngorms there. Well, that's us. We've arrived at hill number two of the day, Miel Nalitrich. Second hill, enough Corbett in the bag. I am not bugging Corbett, to be honest. There. Just slightly longer I walked to the top of this one in the last hill. It's absolutely stunning. I've got a wind up here. Can't see much of the sun there, but there's plenty of blankets of fog in the glens. That fog across there, that's where, that's just sitting above um, Loch Rannoch. So that's just sitting above the water, above the loch. Across there you can see Shehalian. So I think we'll stop here, have some lunch, soak up the views, and then before we cool down too much, I'll head back to the car.